Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to this CTFO Zoom event. My name is Adam Levy from Canton, Connecticut. Glad you could join us on Tuesday Night Live. We do it every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here, same place, same time. And we're glad you're all here. A lot of great stuff to share about <laughs> CTFO, some amazing things that are happening. Hey, what's up, Brother Al? Glad you could join us tonight. <clears throat> Didn't see you there. Fantastic. Glad you could join us. Hey, I wanted to go over something real quick in the comp plan, and I've had some questions about it today and also um, uh, some, you know, uh, realizations about it for some people. And I just wanted to cover it because it's such an important part of our plan. I'm going to share that and I'm going to talk about some other things. Uh, let's see if I can just share my screen real quick. Questions that come up. All right, everybody can see my screen, hopefully. Fantastic. So this is a chart, uh, comp plan chart you can find in your back office. Uh, it's a two pager. It's really the best summary. This is page one. And this is page two. I'm going to focus on page two here for a second. Um, and you can easily find that. But if you have questions about the comp plan or am I qualified or what does it take to qualify? This is the best two page summary to know where you're at and where you need to go. So a couple of questions that came up. And one was about the infinity seven payout, which is our coded bonus. And, uh, you know, as I do my presentations, I always illustrate the importance of this bonus. And when you hit the different titles in the plan, once you qualify for one of these infinity teams, you can never go backwards. So even if your volume goes backwards, you're still qualified. So here's an example. Uh, by the way, you hit those for the very first time, you get uh, 5% infinity team one there. You get that when you <clears throat> become a manager five. That's pretty amazing. And that is actually bringing in five people. You can't just buy a seven pack and be qualified for that. But if you've got five active people, you get your first additional 5%. So if you've been a manager five at any one time, guess what? You're locked in, you're infinity team one, you get 5% extra on top of all the other compensation. To jump up to infinity team two, which is right here, you got to do 5,000 in business, right? 5,000 in business, you're 5K. And when you qualify for that, you get an additional five. Now you're at 10%. And if we go to 10K <laughs> here, you'll see there's an additional 3% uh, in team three. And of course, uh, at 15K also, you got the same 3% there. So it's actually the same, team three, team four, and so on. So Cowboy had a great question. He says, how come my infinity check just went up like a lot? <laughs> and, uh, and I had somebody else ask me the question. So I wanted to point this out. Cowboy's got a new group, a new team of people that just opened up Mexico. They're real excited. So here's the thing, no matter what Cowboy's volume is, because he hit 15K, or actually because it's the same, because he hit 10K, he got to be, uh, he got to qualify as an infinity team three in this team seven bonus. Again, once you've hit it, you can't go back. Cowboy has gone as far as 15K and, uh, and you don't get any extra infinity team for that. But again, Regardless whether he was a 15K, a 10K, or if last week he qualified as a 5K, he is still going to be paid 13% because he hit that at one time or another. So who does he get that on? Well, anybody new that he's bringing in and their whole team, he's getting an additional 13%. And so he had a new team that did, uh, I think, over 3,000 in volume, right, Cowboy? It's over yes, 3,000 in volume? Yes. Yeah, right. So, you know, just do some quick math. What's 13% of uh, 3,000 in volume? Or actually, it's a little different than that because there's CV. It's the CV. But you get the you get the idea. So the check really bumped up that part of it. And that is why, because he had brand new people. Now, again, you can't lose this. He brings in a new person. He's always going to be getting that 13%. Um, so that's kind of important. Now, there is a way that you can give some of that to somebody else or give up some of that let's say his team in uh his team in mexico also then somebody in that team also qualifies as a 10k right that means he's done ten thousand in volume well now that person is going to be picking up from that point forward this is important from that point forward that he qualified that way 
he's going to pick up the 13 percent how much is calvary going to make at that point from that point forward well hopefully cowboy got bumped up right to 25k because he had somebody doing that much volume and he's going to be picking up the additional three percent there right so that's good news you want to make sure people are moving forward right that's important but um you know on that particular leg that uh, is in Mexico, that gentleman is now going to be earning that 13% moving forward, but Cowboy will still be earning that 13% on all those people that got that gentleman in Mexico to that level because he's coded to them at 13% forever. Does everybody follow that? So from the point that the gentleman in Mexico <laughs> went 10k he picked this up and from that point forward that gentleman's getting 13 percent and all those people but the previous people right the people that did all the volume to get to 10k cowboys always earning those percentages or the difference between where they're at and where you know the the person who's behind them is at so anyway it's a powerful bonus and uh, i gotta tell you uh if you understand this one part of our plan you won't be able to sleep at night Right, I'm a 50k, and whether my hey, volume Adam. is, excuse me, Adam. And yeah. the one thing you you add in there, if he goes 15, you go 25. Your loyalty bonus goes up too. Oh right, there's other bonuses that go up. I was just being very specific yeah. about that, but you're right. Not only do you pick up extra infinity team, but you're picking up monthly loyalty rank. So again, a good news when you have to give up some of your infinity team to one of your people that is moving up behind you. Not a bad problem to have, right? You want that because it does, it pushes you up in, in, uh, in monthly loyalty rank bonus. It might push you up and get in a whole nother level in the compensation plan, right? So you're talking, you know, good things happening when people start uh, you know, qualifying for that. As a 50K, I'm at 19%. That means on top of all the other bonuses, maxing out here, maxing out there, maxing out the levels, getting $2,000 a month extra, right? All that stuff. I'm also getting an additional 19% when I bring out a new person and I help them build the business. Yeah, right? It's amazing the kind of income that's, uh, that's here. And re regardless of whether my volume falls back or not, I'm always at that 19% moving forward from the point that I qualified as a 50k so anyway i just wanted to cover that because uh it came up a couple of times today and it's just such a powerful part of our plan and when you're new you're maybe not so worried about that but the good thing to know <laughs> about it is that when you get to manage your five extra five percent kicks in from that point forward that means no matter what happens all all those people could quit and you're still going to get an extra five percent on everybody moving forward you keep bringing people in it's brilliant, right? How important is it to get the manager five? That's why we call this the five to thrive plan is because everything good happens when you have five active people. A lot of good things happen. So you want to duplicate that, duplicate one Ks and three Ks and move up in the plan that way. All right. Well, hey, listen, I wanted to cover something real quick. We got some announcements to make and uh, some things that are happening. Again, events that are going on. Uh, always great to have events local in your area. If you don't have them, you got to create one. We'll zoom in if we have to, we'll fly in if we need to, we'll drive there if it's close enough, but uh, start doing some local events in your area. I know, uh, Al, you're doing them on uh, Wednesday nights, correct? Yeah, every other Wednesday. You're doing every other Wednesday in Miami? Every other Wednesday. Right. In Miami, I'm sure. I would love to uh, host your guest if you've got guests down in Southern Florida. Uh, Miami every other Wednesday and uh, Milford, Connecticut. I'll be doing that on Thursday night this week. Again, happening at the library. Uh, free to do it at the library. You're going to have a nice conference room with the screen and uh, I'm sure there are comfy chairs in there. So anyway, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. If you got people in Connecticut, Dallas, Texas, July 8th. They did a little venue change, but it's still in Dallas and it's still July 8th. Check out emails about that. Also, the EU is now taking orders. We're taking orders in the EU. I did a Zoom with uh, some people down in um, uh, southern Spain uh, the other day who are really excited about the fact that we're shipping Xanthomist to the EU. Um, and of course, Mexico is on fire and uh, they should be getting products within a, a week or so, a week or two, I, I would say, in their hands.
but we're taking orders in Mexico, and this team is on fire with Mexico, so we appreciate you guys uh, reaching out to the people that you know. Well, listen, I want to just talk a little bit about something that came up uh, recently about daily disciplines and, you know, really, uh, uh, you know, the kind of activities that you want to do on a, a daily basis, your daily method of operation, as it were, what are the things that you should be doing on a daily basis that's going to either take you upwards towards your goals, or if you don't do them, it's going to take you someplace you don't want to go, right? And, you know, we we, uh, we often think that it's the one time that we do something that makes all the difference in the world, but it's really these daily, the daily steps, the, um, just the daily disciplines, things repeated over time. They may not seem like much when you're doing them, but you know, over time, compounded over time, it'll take you to amazing places if you're doing those daily activities, or it's going to take you to places you don't want to go. It's same for uh, true for health. You know, if you uh, eat a, a Big Mac today, it's not going to kill you today. Guaranteed it won't kill you today. But if you eat a Big Mac every day for the next three years, what's your health going to look like? Right? Right? What's it going to look like? Versus if you have a shake every day for the next three years for lunch instead, what's your health going to look like at that point, three years later, right? It wasn't the Big Mac and you had a heart attack because you ate one of them. That didn't happen, right? And the shake, you didn't lose a pile of weight when you had one shake one day. But it was that discipline, uh, compounded, repeated over time activity that made all the difference in the world. And it'll either get you to want where you want to be or it might just take you out of your life. Right. So what are the kinds of things in our business that you're not doing that maybe you should be doing those daily steps to get towards your goals in our business? You know, um, one of the daily disciplines, I show up on this Zoom every every Tuesday. Right. I know I know you, I'm speaking to the choir because you guys are all here as well. But what about the people who aren't here? Right. Where are they? What? How is their business going? How close are they getting to their goals? Are they, do they feel like they're supported? Do they feel like uh, they're part of a team? Or are they kind of out there on their own trying to figure it out, right, all by themselves? Now, you know, all we can do is lead them to water. We can't make them drink, right? But that's just one example. What are some of the other things? Follow-up, uh, reaching out to new people, right? Every day, I set aside time to make new contacts, right? And then some of those people I end up on the phone with or I end up on a Zoom with. But I'm always reaching out and starting new conversations. And I could take a day off, probably not going to kill my business. If I take a week off, if I take three weeks off, what's going to happen to my business? That much time goes by and I haven't done those daily disciplines that get me to where I want to be. Where am I going to be? So you got to ask yourself, what is it that you're not doing that you think you should be doing? or you know you should be doing, that would make all the difference in the world in your business. Uh, so I just wanted to talk just briefly about that and just say, you know, um, you know, you know, follow up the things that you're supposed to be doing, the calls that you're supposed to be on, the events that you should be attending, the people you're supposed to be reaching out to. Um, all those things are very, very important little details that, you know, some people just put it on the, put it on the shelf and they go, you know what, it's summertime, it's, it's, it's getting nice out. I think I'm going to, I'll put it off for a week or I'll put it off for two weeks. You know what ends up happening? You never have any time for your business. And what's gonna, what's your business going to look like uh, come fall, which is the harvest time in our business, if you're not doing the little things now. If you are doing the little things now, and I have a secret to tell you about summer, if you work through the summer and you are disciplined through the summer, you will have very little if any, competition. That's right, because most people just, they bag summer, they just bag it, right? So if you're out reaching out to people, people who may have skills in this industry, guess what? No one else is reaching out to them right now. It's wide open, right? Because you decided to work and most people won't. Most people will say, hey, you know, it's nice that I'm going to the beach, I'm, uh, I'm doing all the fun. And I'm just saying you don't do that stuff. I'm just saying, are you being consistently doing something every single day for your business so that those disciplines repeated over time get you to your goals, get you to where you want to be. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share tonight. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for folks. 
Uh, I know that uh, I carve out enough time every day to get something good happening in my business. And it's usually a bunch of things that I do on a daily basis that I make sure that there's something good happening. Because you know what, you feel good about it, right? You feel like, hey, I've done some stuff. And then if you wanna jump in the pool after that, great. You wanna go to the beach after that, fine. But make sure you take care of business first and consistently every single day. I don't know, Cowboy, uh, Al, you guys have anything you want to add to that? Lou Holtz said, if you keep pounding a rock, it'll eventually become gravel. Keep hitting the rock. <laughs> Much rain wears the marble. Another way to say that too, right? <laughs> Excellent. Al, how, how are things going uh, down in Miami? I'm planting the seeds, and some will grow and some will not. And just have to just keep on watering them. And if they if they grow, you got some fruits. If they don't, just keep on planting. The birds are going to get That's some, it. right? Yep, absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you, you're going to have people in your organization that, you know, they, they're they just not going to move. And no matter what you do, you, you have your, the best thing to do is not to let them put you at their level. So you have to just keep on moving. You help them. You talk to them. And just keep on moving. That's it. I mean, because otherwise, if you keep on going after him, going after him, going after him, what's going to happen is you're going to be just like him. So mm. you just don't move. You just move on until until you see some action. That's all I do. Leading by example and not waiting for people. Yep. I, I I can tell you that's a big mistake that a lot of people make is they'll wait for somebody to do something in their group before they get excited or motivated. And the reality is, is that uh, you need to be constantly moving and uh, let those people catch you if they can. And if they want help, you'll reach back to help them. Right. But, yep. you, you know, you want you're in control of your business. Got to do something every mm -hmm. day. Awesome. Yep. Thanks. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, I'll open it up. Anybody have any questions or thoughts uh, on anything we covered, uh, whether it be the comp plan or just doing those little disciplines every day? Love to hear it. You got one. Are you going to be doing anything with Verb? Yeah, that's a great question. So Verb was recently acquired. Uh, and so uh, it's going to be uh, revamped a bit, but they are dialing that in as we speak. I actually talked to Mike about that earlier today, and that is going to be a thing. So stay tuned on that. You know, um, I will continue to record things for it once it's up and working. Um, right now, that attribution, I don't believe is, is 100% right now. So for me to go record something and, and to put out content that you can't use doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> because if you send it to other people, they'll just go to my website. And that's not the way that's supposed to work, right? So stay right. tuned on Verb. I'm sure that um, it's going to be doing amazing things, but they're still dialing some stuff in over there. Great question, though. Anyone else? Dave, when are we doing the next event in uh, Toronto? I don't know. I don't have enough um, momentum to... We, we what need a, really happened, the place ahead of Rocco's, uh, they have an outdoor patio. Oh, yeah? And so that removes me from having the space because you had a flood in the other meeting room. Okay. So the until I find another place or summer's over, um, Rocco's is in the platform right now. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can dial it in and, and uh, find some of those people that we had in the past up there that were great folks. Love to love to work with them again. We did uh, the event in Maine last week. Great group of people. Excited to be there. Um, just really, uh, you know, people getting great results and some people that are just absolutely excited to be involved again because of Xantho Mist. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just neat to be able to get together with people you haven't seen in a while. I think they're going to be doing more events up there. And uh, it, was a, it was a great job on everybody's part of the main. So the vacation is Catherine, land. Is Catherine still recovering or what? Yeah, she's, That's got, why she's, she's got some recovery things going on, but she made it through. She did. She was good. She limped along, but she was there. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Excellent. I'm sure, sure she'll, uh, she'll appreciate that when she hears the replay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, um, we'll see you next week. Right, can I share a story? Can I yeah, share a go story? Ahead, Al. Al, go for Something it. that happened to me this week. Yeah. I uh, 
I was on Facebook and I saw a friend of mine um, who was also a network marketer. Um, she's been in the business for a long time. And I saw she put a post that please pray for her. So mm-hmm. I prayed for her. I sent her a message and I told her I was going to pray for her. And every single day, I sent her a positive quote. I did that for about almost three weeks. This weekend, she reached out to me. And she asked me, okay, what are you doing? And I said, I, I don't understand what your question is, I asked her. I says, what do you mean by that? I says, okay, I see your pictures on Facebook. I see you with some people. Okay, what are you doing? I says, well, what I'm doing, I'm just helping people, you know, mentally health. And I'm also helping with wellness and financial. And then she says to me, okay, so help me with financial. I said, okay, perfect. I'll send you three videos. Send her the three videos. I was up, me and the talkies were on the phone with her till 1.15 in the morning, signing her up. That tells you that I did not talk to her about the business. Mm. Don't lead with the business. Friendship. Help people. And, the friend, and then they'll want to know what are you doing because they want to see why all those pictures. They want to see why. It's all, remember, on my wall. I have nothing about the business, uh, nothing, only on my story. And so on the story, just, just you, do it on the story you do it on the story, Al, because the story only lasts for a short period what? of time. Correct. That's Not all true. I do. Right. Correct. That's why I do it on the story. I can change it every 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 day. I put on a different post, right? So if I want to put a, a picture of Cowboy with a Miss, I put Cowboy with a Miss. If I want to put a picture with Adam with a, a Miss, I put an atom with a mess the next day. It's just, it's, it, it, all dep- it all depends on what you, you know you want to do. Just, but it goes away in 40, 24 hours. That's what's good about it. It doesn't stay in your, in your wall. Right. So you if know? you end up with a conversation like you have with somebody who's asking, what is it that you do, right? Mm-hmm. They're not seeing your story. They're, they're at no. your wall, they're, right? And they're, they're Correct. Timeline, and there's nothing there. And that's why they're asking those questions. Exactly. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely right. Now, on, on my wall, there's some pictures I have with some leaders, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm with some, you know, positive people, some leaders. Don't say nothing about the business at all. Hmm. You know, so just a, just a little tip. You know, don't lead with the product. Lead, just don't, don't. Just go out and help people. See what their needs are. Pray for them. Uh, if they need some help or something, just help them out, you know. Um, you know, that's all I can say. That's it's just incredible, you know. And she goes excited, so excited that I had to let my wife take care of it because my wife, she started talking with my wife, and they almost talked for about almost 30, mi- 30 minutes just talking, di- not about business, just talking about something else. And then, you know, yeah. she, she they went back to the business portion of it, you know. So building a friendship is very important, man. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with your discipline, again, compounding, repeated over time, of posting every single morning for 10 years. Yep. Guys, ten right. years, right? What if what yep. if Al only posted once a week for ten years? Yep. Would he be where he is it, today? It would, it would not have been the same. It would not no, wouldn't be the same, right? No, wouldn't wouldn't, right, wouldn't right. have the same effect right. mm-hmm. as what you're because doing. What's so, happening now is that what's happening if I'm looking at the people who like it, right? Yeah. Now I, I have maybe twenty twenty five people every day like my posts, right? Sometimes I get some new ones, and that's when I send them a new one. Hey, thank you for hiding my liking my post. But those mm-hmm. twenty five people, they're they're they see my post. Every, they get motivated every single day with my posts, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is all about. They like, say, yeah, now you're now you're leading, you know. Now you become to be somebody that they're following for a motivation, mm-hmm. or, or maybe a quote. They were having a hard day, and one of my quotes hit them, and I said, "Wow, I need to talk to him," you know. And and that's what happens, you know. That's what, exactly what happens. I, I love that, and you and you do it um, a couple of things. You do that, um, and it's it's not your face, right? So anybody that's thinking, oh well, you know, I got a face for radio, I can't do that. Mm-hmm. You're not doing anything with your face. It's all quotes. It's all positive. 
uh, reinforcement. It's it's uh, you uh, know. See, I, I have a radio voice. I don't have a the cowboy <laughs> says. I have a radio voice. I don't have a a, a face for you know for the a camera. For, break the camera. A, a face you know, for. I'm TV. not like cowboy. Yeah, that's what I face for radio. Talking, yeah, I'm yeah. talk to you. Break the break the radio. <laughs> you know, it's a different story. You know. <laughs> I hear you. And, and you know, and your and your English with your accent and all that, right? So I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you. But at the same time, you're having the success doing mm -hmm. social media without having to be on camera. And I think that's yep. that's so important for people to hear. And, and don't get me wrong, Adam, is that yeah. there's gonna, it's gonna be a time that I need to get put my face out, right? It's been yeah. 10 years. Sure. Uh, I, I, I look back on my on my wall and it was almost seven years ago is when the last time I did that live. No, excuse me. No, it was uh, four years ago is when I got the doctor told me that my cancer was free, and I went live sharing the, my my story mm -hmm. four years ago, and and that was the last time I that I've done a, a, a live a live one on Facebook. Wow, that's mm -hmm. fantastic! Well, hey, congratulations on all that, and uh, you know, just keep keep moving it forward because uh, you said a great example for a lot of people that would like to have the kind of success you're having and attract people the way you're doing it. Um, but just haven't engaged yet in a, in a consistent manner. And I think that that's the key to the whole thing is you're, you're building a brand, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, anybody on, on this on here, if you need any more help whatsoever uh, on this, reach out to me. I'll be gladly to do, you know, 30 minutes with you, an hour Zoom, and show you exactly how I'm doing and, and everything. It's not, it's not a hard, hard thing to learn. Nope. Excellent. Thank you for your offering that too, Al. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we shall uh, see you all next week, uh, Tuesday Night Live, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on. Uh, of course, tonight at ctfowebinar.com at 9 p.m. is the corporate Zoom. So you want to make sure you plug into that. Always something good on there. And plug people into it so they can see and hear the opportunity by none other than Stu Finger. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye for now. Have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.